Hey everyone, Mac here, bringing you the Walking Dead 400 Days DLC review, which is now available on PSN and Steam and will be available on Friday, July the 5th on XBLA. So 400 Days DLC is set between Season 1 and Season 2, although it doesn't include any of the characters from Season 1. Hopefully we'll be seeing some of these characters in Season 2 though. To play this DLC, you will need at least Episode 1 downloaded or the retail disc of Season 1. So the way this game works are, is that there's five new characters, they're all survivors, and you're going to be playing short chapters for each character. Each character's chapter takes about 15 minutes, give or take a few minutes depending on the character, and they're drawn together with a short epilogue at the end, making the entire DLC about an hour and a half long. So previous decisions you made should affect this DLC, and de decisions in the DLC should also affect Season 2. Now, the game is much of the same. There's not really any real changes. The graphics look very similar. The audio d design is very similar. The way the stories are told is more or less the same, but in a shorter manner. So don't expect any major changes. The game is much of the same game. With that being said, it is more of a movie or an experience than an actual game full of gameplay. It's more about the decisions and the point and click about figuring stuff out than really having to go out there with any type of skill and uh, beat anything. Um, with that being said, it is much of the same. So there are a little bit, uh, you know, it's a little bit buggy. There are a few bugs, which is to be known from the previous one. And uh, personally, out of the five situations, I was only drawn to about three or four of the characters. One of the situations I didn't really connect with as much as the others. But it's still worth it, and uh, I still think they did a really good job. Um, because of the shorter factor, because of the 15-minute chapters, um, it is a little bit of a different experience. They kind of throw you into a character, make you make a few quick decisions, and then pull you right out. Uh, it is a lot more action-y, I guess. There's a lot more plot within the game because of this. Um, there's no real you know, periods where there's low on action or anything like that. So that is also good. You're really thrown into stuff non-stop. And personally, as long as you liked Season 1 and you plan on playing Season 2, it's definitely worth the $5. If you've never played a Walking Dead uh, Telltale game before, I suggest you download... Uh, I believe you can download Episode 1 of Season 1 for free or for like a few bucks and try it. And go through those before you go through the DLC. It just makes more logical sense. But if you've enjoyed stuff before and you're plan to enjoy Season 2, you will enjoy this DLC. And uh, I don't think you have anything to worry about in terms of not enjoying yourself. So thanks for watching, guys. That's about it. If there are any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. And uh, I tried to keep this review as spoiler-free as possible. So if you uh, have any questions, leave a comment. And hopefully I see you guys around in my next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.